What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my Instant Pot Dutch Oven. Beautiful cast iron. Today, as promised, via my live the other day to some of my subscribers, I'm going to make some Doug style easy curry chicken. So first things first, I'm using two pounds of boneless thighs. I had my meat market cut it up, and so let me show you how I seasoned it. I took my Evo oil sprayer, sprayed it with oil. You don't need a sprayer to do that. You could just pour some oil in there, mix it up. And then I used three seasonings, which I'll leave a link to in, in the description so you can pick it up. So first thing I put on was some Jamaican Choice chicken seasoning. Then, I put some Jamaican Choice garlic, scallion, and allspice seasoning. And then, of course, I finished it off. I didn't put too much of this in there. Um, Jamaican curry powder. Jamaican Choice curry powder. And that's it. I let this marinate for an hour, and here we are. So, guys, this is going to be super simple. We're going to... I could slow cook this, but I'm just going to use saute mode the whole time. It should take about 25 to 30 minutes. So, let's get this on. Let's go to sear and saute and hit start. So, I'll give this about three to four minutes to heat up, and I'll be back. While it's heating up, let's go ahead and add some oil. Go ahead and mix that around. I don't want to add too much, just enough to kind of cover the bottom. By the way, guys, we're going to add up one potato to this as well, uh, cut up into cubes. But that's a little later on. So you hear that sound? We're ready to rock and roll. All right, let's take the cover off, guys. Now, I'm going to add some of this uh, curry powder to the oil. Uh, about that much. That's good enough. And we're going to just mix that around. Can you see? Yes. We're just going to cook this for a little bit. Now, if you didn't use all the seasonings that I used, this is where you would throw some onions in there, some scallions, um, maybe some allspice, some peppers. You could do that, but like I said, I'm making super easy curry chicken today, guys. So... We are doing the bare minimum with maximum flavor. So we're going to, ooh, look at that smell. Mm, mm, mm. So we're just going to let this go for about another minute and then we'll throw our chicken in. And what's, what this is doing is just unlocking that curry flavor for our gravy and as well as, you know, further cooking it. Now remember, the chicken thighs are going to render off its own juices in about five minutes. So, we're not going to add too much liquid to this. So right now, we want to brown it up a little bit. And we get all the flavors. Okay. So I'm going to let this cook down for about five minutes, guys, and stir occasionally. Link will be in the description. All right. We are good. I could go ahead. I'm going to hit cancel for now, turn it off, and now... I'm going to put one fourth cup of water in there. Kind of calm everything down. And you should smell that. So now I'm going to cut up my potatoes. And then I'm going to put it back on at a lower temperature. And just let it cook. And remember, the thighs are going to render off its own liquid, so it will be more liquid 
than this when it's all said and done, trust me. It smells absolutely fantastic so far. All right guys, I'm gonna add my potatoes. Add as much or as little as you want. I'm gonna give it a mix. And believe it or not, the, pota the potatoes will help thicken up your gravy as well. And of course you can add cornstarch. And try, I didn't do it, but try and cut the potatoes as even as possible. It just looks better and it cooks more even. But at this point, we're cooked. When the potato when the potatoes are done, we're done. That's in a nutshell. Let's go ahead and get this covered. Guys, take a second to wipe down. Curry is very potent and it can stain. So let's take a second to wipe down at this point. Alright, guys, I'm gonna use a manual mode, which it has right here. Because Siren Saute is locked at 400, and 400 is, I think it would be too, too hot. So we want more of a medium heat, which is more like a 300, 350. So, so now we're at 300 right there. I'm going to hit temp. I'm going to bump it to about, now nah, we'll do 325. And then time, yeah, we'll leave it at 30 minutes. It may take sooner. So we're going to hit start. And I'm going to, you know, stir it every seven, eight minutes. Of course, I didn't show you, but I was making rice the whole time. And it's done in my rice cooker. So now I'm just going to put some butter in there. I can get it off. There we go. Just mix it around. It smells fantastic. That's absolutely perfect, guys. All right, guys, let's take a look and see. Looking good, smelling good. Let's give it a toss. Okay. Alright guys, we are at the 10 minute mark. I'm going to hit cancel. We are done. I checked the potatoes about 2 minutes ago and they are fork tender. So, we're done here. Smelling so good guys. This could be you. Link will be in the description to this Instant Pot Dutch Oven. And guys, I didn't have to use any cornstarch or anything like that. My gravy is just thick. So that's perfect. Shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. All right, guys, you saw the paper towel go up. That means it's time to eat. And I am starving. So let's take a little piece. Well, I cut that earlier, but I want you to see inside. You take the first bite. You got it? That's good right there. Mm-hmm. That is so good. Now, of course, you can put your um your your thighs smaller than I did, but this is how I like it. Have it with some rice and potato. You got it. Mmm. Now that's good. The potato makes it so good, guys. So you definitely don't want to skip that. Try and get a potato in there if you can. Get that piece. Mm-hmm. Melting your mouth good. Some of you just wanted some rice and gravy. Try and get some for you guys. 
And I put some red onions in my rice. I cooked it with it. You got it? Mmm. It's good. Let's try some plantains or plantains as you call it. Give you a double. You got it? Mmm. That's perfect. And by the way, guys, you notice I didn't use any pepper or any hot sauce. Of course, I could have added hot sauce. I could have added pepper. But I wanted to let you know, between the three seasonings that I used, there is a kick to it. Now, it's like a little hotter than Texas Pete, but I mean, not hot enough like, you, you know, your mouth is burning. But there is heat. So if you like a little less than medium heat, there's no need to add anything. To this which is perfect so you don't have to add anything maybe you could add a little bit of cayenne pepper but I, that's as far as I would take it but the seasoning this combo is absolutely fantastic and like I said link will be in the description to this instant pot um, Dutch oven as well as those three seasons that I use because I mean if you want to make an easy dish now we did this in 20 minutes guys or 25 because we we um, sauteed the meat first so 25 minutes and boom Look at that. But anyhow, anywho, I'm going to sit down and enjoy this. So just look out for more recipes with this Instant Pot Dutch oven. I'm loving it. It's absolutely fantastic. Definitely check it out. But that's all I got for you guys. So hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug. I'm out.